the drama. We only know one thing, lovers. That's right. To give them the flux. To give them the flux. These rappers is shuckin' and jivin' and stuff Gettin' self in the shit that they can't get out of Fuckin' up, they go to flux A display of lyrics and patterns and rhythms by side and young buck For viewers discretion is only Factual, not fiction, homie The ruler, the thumb stickin' out cause you know me Federal, pimp lock the block, you can't hold me Situation gettin' heavy, ammo get low, need my homie, what's up? Well, your homie right on you, you know from the side Go with that on these bitches, it's devious as we gon' get on this shit Let's talk, let's not sit on this shit We the shit on this shit, they just spit on this shit Dramatic, oh, have to get this beer crazy. The rage you win it this shit, buck inside is the physicist. Belligerent, feel it, feel it, cause we dig it. Nigga, y'all in it. The flux is the subject, of weight and adrenaline, a feel of bitch. Side the minute, buck the relic, and drama deleted to him once again. Chance that you get, change in your face, and the blood to the covers, undisputed bitch. And, I, and, I, and again and again, and I, and I, to the end of the pen, be worse than this. And again, I'm feeling this thin. From birth, saw the light of the earth, and I've been fucked up since then. This fusion. Clinching the might get a bitch contusions It's two of Chicago's fucking gruesome Introducing the youth of flux What a taco guru Welcome back I missed you guys man I need you guys Way more than I, than I need to see Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Roman Reigns. <laughs> Let's go. And you can inhale the danger. Consider this us spilling out pills of anger. Fuck around, swell a vein up and make you rebel on the stranger. Kick a tanger. Things I'm thinking. Sometimes I be feel like I'm sinking. In the motherfucking words of the rap. Floating in the ink pen, breathing and blinking. As I lead you to the brink and push you off in the deep end of the issue. Out of the realm of reaching, you ain't gonna know what the fuck they hit you cause you sleeping. Chicago will be your motherfucking cheek. What is going on, everybody? My name is Jesse, a.k.a. your very own one and only dedicated Shot town Smart. What's popping, y'all? What is going on with you, man? It's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. Guess what? I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, man. I'm actually going to watch Raw Triple X tonight. Smart Mark, I'm glad you enjoyed the thumbnail. I don't think YouTube enjoyed it. YouTube got a real pissy little attitude. About my Jade Carghill thumbnail. And I replied back with them with my Sky Bluey thumbnail. So you know what, YouTube? Don't need your money, man. Forget you. Sky Bluey coming on out. Don't need your money. All right, I do it for the love of the sport and the passion. I do it because I love this business. That and then throughout the month, I get enough super chats and that will help cover what I do here. So, fuck off YouTube. Guys, we got a banger in front of us. And my God, do I mean a... Banger. Banger. What's going on? Lord Quaz. What's going on, Ryan? The Canadian. Chipmunk. In the house as always. Susan D. Oh, look, look at Sky Bluey, man. Posing with it. She just gonna pose with it. She just go. She just. 
just let you know it's down there. Just letting you know it's down there, bruh. Oh, man. Some nice little boot to the corner. From Miss, uh, what's her name? Miss Dubois. Zoe, Zoe Dubois. Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, do we know it's down there? We know it's down there. Trust, we didn't forget that. Look at Dubois with the three amigos. Look at her look, though, man. Hold on, let's get to work. Let's get to work. We might have some work to do here, man. Because Zoe Dubois is being given a little something, man. Let's see. Look at this strength. Look at this flexibility, man. Bruh. Man. Bro, even the flexibility to Zoe Dubois. I, I, I like her, man. I like her. <laughs> Paul White said, Sky Blue has one advantage, and we know what that advantage is, bro. Two and a kick out by Zoe. Dubois, you know this is how you this is how you get attention brought to yourself. We started the match off with, "Hey, look, it's Sky Blue, the one that we all like to watch," you know, and she's in a match with someone, and then that someone starts doing shit. So it's like, "Oh, hold on, man, forget Sky Blue, hold on." Oh, you can't you can't forget Sky Blue for too long. It's kind of impossible. Oh man. Oh man. Very nice. You can even see on Sky Blue's mind. She was just thinking, what just happened? Very nice. I gotta tell you, man. Sky Blue is extremely entertaining to watch. No one can take that from her for sure. Entertaining. There we go. Ryan says he wants to give her four tacos. Um, I'm not gonna argue with four. I'm not going to argue with four, Ryan. I probably would have said three myself, but an, an argument to me can be made for four on the scale that we're basing it on. Nonetheless, I definitely want to see more of Zoe Dubois. Definitely. Wouldn't mind seeing a rematch with Sky Blue. Butcher in the blade with the bunny. Versus David McCallion and Richie Slade. Butcher in the blade, baby. I've said every time I see them, I, I feel like I need to keep saying it for anyone who missed it. I am a pretty big Butcher and Blade mark, man. I think they are. Not a, just a solid tag team, but a very good tag team. Very good tag team. I think they just fall under the not used right category. Look at the butcher, man. Look at the shape he got himself into. These guys are fucking killers, dude. And they get the bunny as a valet. Fits. Works. Brings them even more character, man. I am all about Butcher and Blade, bro. All about it. They are physical. 
They are believable. They could have been the APA of AEW. I 100% agree. That would have been some. That would have been some pretty, some pretty nice um, creative to give to them. Kind of like being like paid mercenaries, you know, and make it real, make it important, make it cool, you know, like if someone gets into a beef in their own feud, in their own little situation. And then they turn around and like, oh, fuck, I'm going to hire Butcher and Blade. That should become like a, oh, shit. Oh, shit. They, they, they fucking pulled out Butcher and Blade. We're fucked. You know, I would barely have these guys wrestle. They don't even need to be tag champs right away. I mean, I mean, if at all. Their whole thing is they're going to come out and whoop some ass for the right amount of money. Easy. Easy. They are awesome, man. They are rugged. They got a nice little gimmick, dude. I like it. They just look like two badass dudes that you really don't want to fuck with at a biker bar. Like if you if you if you went out to a fucking biker bar and just fucking was out there chilling and you got drunk and you were looking for two dudes to mess with because you're drunk at a biker bar. These would be two of the last dudes that I'm going to pick out to fuck with. No fucking way. These dudes look like fucking killers, man. They look like killers. Nope, not doing it. It'd be, that'd be so fucking awesome, man. So fucking awesome. Just have them just come out. I would use them not only like the APA... I would use them like three minute warning. Or is it two minute warning? Look at these guys, man. Like every time, I mean, every time that someone get pissed off, like, all right, you know what? We'll take care of this. I hired somebody to, to take care of this shit. Butcher and Blade come out and just fucking demolish this dude. Just demolishes. There we go. Say, man, I'm glad you're enjoying the thumbnail. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed searching for it. That was fun, too. Always on my mind. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you, American rock star. Patrick Palmer, thank you for being here as usual. I appreciate you all. Athena then lost her shit. Let's see what you oh, that was a that was a five taco thumbnail. Five taco thumbnail. Patricia Rockwell. Hey, what's up? You sprained your ankle. Um, So sorry to hear that. Wait, is that a work? That's a work. That's not real. That's not a real injury. That's just a work. Nice try trying to, trying to work me. Isn't that what we do in pro wrestling, right? Isn't that what we do? Every time there's an injury, ah, oh, it's not real. It's a work. That's a work. Oh, oh, we got uh, Pino DeGrigio out here tonight. Awesome, awesome. That is awesome. Pino DeGrigio and, and Roosh. Preston Vance is so far ahead of his time. It goes Roman Reigns. It goes Roman Reigns, Preston Vance. All right. 
And then like Kenny Omega and like, you know. Uh, who are these guys? Who are these masked guys? Looks like fucking Wardlow in a mask or something. Usually when you usually when guys look like this and they come out in masks, usually that means it's somebody that we actually know. We know from somewhere, even if it's another, even if it's from another promotion, we know the guys from somewhere, and they just don't want to be seen on camera. Oh shit! Right over the rope, like he fell on his face. So yeah, it goes. So it goes. Roman Reigns, actually, actually, it goes. Roman Reigns, one, and then Preston Vance, one B. Right, and then Kenny Omega, and you know. Everybody else under there, Adam Cole. Yeah. Here comes Preston. He's the guy that I want to see. Let's see what he's got. Absolutely. Ruth said, move. Move, Pino. Into the corner, taking down. Move. Ruth doesn't want to get out of here. No. Oh, Preston Vance. See, because he does that. He he does that. He does he, he does that. See? See? Main eventer. Way lower. No, no, bro. No, no, bro. No, man. Sniffing taco. Du- bro, bro. Roman. All right. Preston. Kenny. Bray Wyatt. Everybody else under there. Okada. You know, all those, you know, after Preston Vance, though. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna stop kidding around. I'm gonna stop kidding around. All right, I'm gonna admit I was joking. So I'm gonna give you guys the truth. I'm gonna be honest here. Preston Vance, Roman Reigns. Okay, so he goes Preston. All right, then Roman, and then everybody else. Kind of falls in line under there. All right, there. Now, I put the real list out there for you guys. Pino, I gotta stop calling them Preston. Pino, Pino. We're gonna call him Pino. Or like Pico, like Pico, Pico, Pino, Pico. Happy birthday to the big homie, p- 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 Powerhouse, Hobbs. Happy birthday to p- 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 Powerhouse, the big homie. Oh, man, look at that. Pino. Pino double pinned him. P, uh, see, I wasn't talking about P, Ryan. See, now, now you're just being disrespectful, bro. Now you just... Oh, that's why they're out there wearing masks. Oh, because that's their new gimmick. Their new gimmick is they take off masks. P. Diddy. Did you hear about that story? He <laughs> really is P. Diddy, huh? Supposedly. But we don't know. We don't know. That is that is their gimmick. You put us in the ring and we take off masks. 
that is the cheapest of fucking heat, man. That is the cheapest of heat, right? He just it is it is a complete sin. It's like one of the first sins in pro wrestling. It, it, it's easy number one in in lucha libre. You don't take off someone's mask. Like you're you're a complete dickhole for that. But these guys, this is their gimmick. They take on. Is this leading to a feud with like Rey Mysterio or some shit? Where is this going? Who wears masks in AEW? Where is this going? How many masks can they take off? The Lucha Brothers. So they're going to face the Lucha Brothers? What happens when they face people without masks? Do they lose? So we're on commercial break. All right. Let's put on some some light tunes. As we go through this commercial break. Talk about current events. Things going on in pro wrestling right about now. Triple H posted a picture of himself looking at the graphic board of Raw is XXX. And he tops it with his classic line. Are you ready? I'm kind of ready. I'm kind of ready for Raw Triple X, man. I kind of want to see what they get, what they got in store for us, man. I'm kind of curious, kind of curious. So my curiosity for WWE is starting to dwindle a little bit. All right, and clearly that's that's just because of the Vince McMahon situation. The thing is. I don't care if he's back and just in the corporate office doing Vince, you know, shady shit, whatever, man. My whole thing is if he's, if he's back, he's back. He's not half back. He's not a quarterback. He's not a half back, not a quarterback. If Vince is back, he's going to be a goddamn fullback. And he's going to carry the ball. And what's going to happen is. Here's what's going to happen with Vince at fullback. They're going to hand Vince the ball off, right? And Vince is going to fucking score a touchdown. He's going to score a touchdown on every play. You want to know why? Because it'll be like one of those. One of those make a wish games. Where like the opposing team. It's all on board, but like, you know, the Down Syndrome kid getting a touchdown. So they're going to line up and say hike, and the dude's going to go up the fucking middle, and everybody's just going to kind of just part and let him go because they don't want to get fired. That's what's going to happen, man. It'll look all serious at first, and all of a sudden, they're just going to... Who's going to tackle him? Who's going to tackle him? You tackle him, you get fired. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. They're going to fuck it. They're just going to let him go. And then the record books will say... <laughs> the record books will say, Vince McMahon went the distance. Vince McMahon, one carry, touchdown. What? That's the truth, babe. What's your fucking problem? It is. If I mean, if he's back, he's back, man. He's not gonna be back in. Okay, now I'm back. I'll let someone else take control of this, and I only think Vince controls everything. Everything in WWE. That's all he knows. Ric Flair. Here's a story. Ric Flair reveals one of his biggest pet peeves in wrestling today. Over his five-year career, Ric Flair has seen and done it all. But there is one thing in pro wrestling that annoys him more than anything else. 
Ric Flair wrestled his last match July 31st, 2022, teaming with his son-in-law and AEW star Andrade El Idolo to take on Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal in Nashville. During the bout, Nature Boy pulled out his dirty tricks, including eye pokes, brass knuckles, but kept up the, the mat mainly using chops and punches throughout and avoiding big bumps. He got the win in the end, and then he knocked Jared out cold with the knucks. Then locked on the figure four. Flair's aversion to uh, Flair's Flair's aversion to taking many bumps and in the bout was sensibly considered it, uh, considering his age and general health. But oh, we're back from commercial. Hold on. Ari Davari and Tony Nice versus Big Fonz and Jordan Cruz. That was a long commercial break, man. But speaking on his podcast, To Be The Man, Flair explained that his main irritation is when wrestlers get up from a move before the person carrying, before the person carrying it out has a chance to. So basically, Rick doesn't like no selling. Greg Goldman with a $10 super chat, man. Hey, Jesse, just sending some love. Where's Wardlow? Greg Goldman, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Where's Wardlow? I don't know. Waiting for his hair to grow back out? I don't know. I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't say. I wish I had an answer for you because that is a very generous super chat. And I thank you so much, bro. Give me two rounds of applause. Big Fonz and Jordan Cruz making their AEW tag debut. Ryan, the Canadian chipmunk with the $2 super chat. Which probably comes out to about 15 cents in American money. Thank you so much, Ryan, the Canadian chipmunk, man. Because I appreciate it all, sir. I really, really do. I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome, man. I enjoy hanging out here with you guys, man. I do. Sorry, all headed to work. So, shh. 8M not here. Eight M. You know what that means? That means stop trying to chat at red lights and focus on driving. How about that? See what I got to deal with, guys? You see this? The dangers. Dude, if my wife is on the road, Get your family off the fucking road. Get them off the road. Because my wife is driving, bruh. Keep your family safe. It sucks. She can't reply back, really. Because if she replies back, then she's doing more of the same. Of trying to chat in a chat room while driving. So, let's talk about the wife for a while. How about that? That's a good plan. That's a good idea. I love my wife. So, I was scrolling through my my Twitter feed, right? And... My wife saw my Twitter feed and she saw one of the posts from a certain YouTuber from a certain content creator, friend of the OTS family, one Miss Destiny FOMO. Now, if you guys do not know who Destiny FOMO is, 
go ahead and look her up. And yeah, 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 Sandman. Yeah. Serpentico, Ryan Nimitz, and Peter Avalon versus the Dark Order. Ooh, by the way, we'll come back to that. So she sees Destiny FOMO on my Twitter feed, and then I pull up Destiny FOMO's Twitch stream, her live Twitch stream. Boy, did she get all bit out of shape. Shit, she called her a fucking bimbo. She called her a bimbo. She called Destiny a bimbo. Why? She's not a bimbo. It's like, why, why, why are you looking at her? Why are you friends with her? Like, she's a friend of the OTS family, man. I'm looking to break into Twitch. You guys, as you guys know, Destiny FOMO is big on Twitch. So, I'm going to try to form a, a partnership there at some point. And maybe we can combine worlds. We can get together. Right? And do some business. Right? I'm about to be sleeping on the sidewalk. Well, I mean, look, man, I didn't do anything. Business partners. I do business with JD. That doesn't bother. I do business with Issa. That doesn't bother. But Destiny. Oh, no, 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 no. Destiny seemed a little too perky for my wife. A little too perky if you uh if you get my drift. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I say it like that. Like like only you can hear me and she can't. Right now she's driving down the street. Probably like through a probably through a wooded area right now. And I can probably see the steam coming from her ears as she's driving. Love you, babe. I don't know what her problem is. Jeez. Oh, so I um so this is what this is this is uh this also happened too. I forgot about this part. So Destiny tweeted Destiny tweeted some t- tweeted something the other day and she had a picture of herself in a two piece in a two piece bikini and then she posted the question would you rather have a PlayStation 2 or me right so i was downstairs my wife was upstairs and I said, I said, hey, babe, babe. Oh, no, I texted her this. I texted her this. And then she, came, no, I take that back. I texted her this. And she came running down the stairs. I texted her. I said, I don't need a PlayStation 2, do I? That was, that was the text. I just sent her a text. I said, I don't need a PlayStation 2, do I? She came downstairs confused. She was like, what the fuck you mean? Why, why would you need a PlayStation 2? I was like, oh, I was just wondering if you, if I needed a PlayStation 2. And then she walked over and went to my phone and saw the tweet that Destiny just posted, a picture of her saying me or a PlayStation 2. And my question to my wife was, I don't need a PlayStation 2, right? And then she just looked at me really long and hard for like five minutes. She never really answered the question, though. So, I mean, I'm look, I don't need a PlayStation 2, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. This is this is not my fault. 
It was an honest question. I don't get the damn problem here. This is not the last stream for me. Guys, I'm fine. It was an honest question. I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem. I don't see the big deal. I just, I mean, I, I have a PlayStation 5. I mean, if you really think about it, I have a PlayStation 5. Right? So that being said, I don't need a PlayStation 2. Right? Right? I'm just saying, bro. Hold on. So let's let's see the let's see the tweet. Let's see the tweet. Let's post the tweet. Let's post the tweet. Oh, I can't post it. I have to create a browser. Hold on. I have to create a browser. Okay. Let's see. Let's create a... No, hold on. Hold on. Overlay chat. Da, 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 da. And... Oh, wait, maybe that's not it. Hold on. So there's 86 that. No, not a browser. Not a browser. My bad. Sorry. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Display capture. Display capture. There it is. There it is. So. I mean. It's an honest question. Right? Right? One, two, three, Dark Order wins. I was just wondering, you know, if I needed a PlayStation 2 or not. I think, no, Susan, I get it. I get why she was giving me the look. She's giving me the look because it was such an easy answer. Easy answer, bruh. Easy answer. Guys, that is it for today's show. Let me get out of here. I got to pack my stuff and get the fudge out of Dodge before my wife gets home because now she's probably turned around to kill me at this point. So, Thank you guys so much for being here, but don't go anywhere. Stay here. Don't leave. Don't leave. Why? Because I will be sending you guys to Issa. Uh, let me see. Wait, where in the... Where's my... There we go. Sorry about that. Don't move. Stay here. I will transfer you guys over to Issa. <laughs> guys, thank you for coming. My name is Jesse, a.k.a. your very own. Oh, wait. Shouts out, Spark. Let me make sure Issa is live. Give them the flux. These rappers is shucking their job and their stuff, getting their self in the shit that they can't get it's out up. of. It's up. I can still go ahead and transfer you guys. Good. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Peace. Peace.